So, hello everyone. So today uh, I'm going to present my presentation title of multi-scale optimization and the effect of chemical surfactant in dispersion conductivity and the mechanical performance of nano-electron uh, nano conductive. So uh, there is a radical change is needed to cause a C2 emission by 2050 and even USA has joined over 120 countries and committed to reach to net zero goal by 2050. Concrete one is the most produced material in the worldwide. However, the traditional strength structure design paradigm has shown main three flow. The first thing is eco-efficient issues, where the cement production contribute up to 8% in the worldwide CO2 emission. Also, durability issues manifested in the 40% of the bridge in USA, like require rehabilitation, which are around $28 million, especially with the climate change. Functionality issues, especially the concrete, is, has negative, uh, has no negative entropy. So, if we have like any external stimuli, any change in the chemical composition, any loading, the concrete cannot like have like has has any reaction. So, how we can, how can concrete be sustainable to meet social and environmental goal? There is a lot of the like research about how we can do that in several ways through reducing CO2 emission from clinker production or through to reducing clinker in cement via utilizing supplementary cementious material or through reduced concrete volume through using ultra high performance concrete or precast concrete with the low, uh, low, uh, low thickness or adding a new functionality which is adding self-sensing, self-healing, energy storage and CO2 capture. Also, there is another way through reducing the concrete in building or automated infrastructure using robot or at the end recycling the concrete materials. Here we are going to focus about adding a new functionality to the concrete and achieving self-sensing, self-healing, conductivity or whatever. In MIT, like Belnig et al. and the co-worker like developed a novel electron conductive using nanocarbon nano black materials. And uh, Ronald and the co-worker like found that the capillary pore network in the CSH, which is approximately 95% connected. So they uh, like hypothesis, like by adding nanocarbon black in this capillary process, so we can form the percolation threshold. And if we can form the percolation threshold, we can have electrical conductive concrete, which has the ability or application of self-sensing, self-healing, and the energy storage for so, for so, for so capacitor. So thank you to Ronald and the co-worker. So, but the question here, the carbon black is a super hydrophobic material and has tendency to agglomerate through like, especially that it has van der Waals force and it is porous material. And in the meantime, the cement mattress is hydrophobic material. So the question arise here, how we can like, uh, enhance the dispersion of nanocarbon black and move from large agglomerator to the permeary particles where we can keep a good electrical conductivity and a good strength. Just here we focus about in using chemical surfactant and we use four types of the chemical surfactant. Carboxy, uh, carbo, uh, uh, carboxy, uh, carboxynol cellulose, polycarboxylate based superplastizer, and the synergetic between uh, cellulose and the polycarboxylate superplastizer and the polynaphthalene superplastizer with physical sonication. And to investigate the trade-off between mechanical performance and the conductivity, we uh, uh, use a chemo-mechanical multi-scale approach where we use a constant water cement ratio 0.42 and the nanocarbon black volume is 12.5 and we choose this percentage to make sure that we have above percolation threshold to understand the trade-off between mechanical and electrical conductivity. And this raw mechanical and microstructure, we move from different scale. From macro scale, we measure the compressive strength. Micro scale, we measure the hardness and the indentation modulus using a micro indentation technique and micro, um, fracture toughness using micro scratching technique and then moving to nano scale where we measure the hardness and the indentation modulus for the laden such CSH and the high density CSH using nano indentation technique. Through linking between scale, 
we using like a link between hardness from macro indentation and the macro mechanical investigation. We estimated the cohesion and deflection coefficient. While from fracture toughness and fracture uh, and the indentation models, we can estimate the fracture uh, uh, fracture uh, fracture energy. And through the interrelation between fracture toughness and uh, fracture toughness and hardness, we can estimate the fracture processing zone. Using the data from hardness and the indentation models and apply the macro mechanics models that developed by OM and the co-worker, we can estimate the backing density of the CSH. So now this slide shows the trade-off between strength and the electrical conductivity. And this is really very interesting result. Because what we observe it here, so at like the PNS polynaphthalene and the uh, carboxymethanol uh, methanol, that have the same analogy in the electrical conductivity. So once we in we, in we we adding like polynaphthalene or cellulose, we have a slight increase in electrical conductivity compared to the non dispersion one. However, after such amount of the polynaphthalene superplastizer and the carboxy uh, methanol, we found a reduction in electrical conductivity. So the concrete transfer to the insulator material rather than to the conductive material. However, in like, and this can be due to like that the polymers, poly, uh, like polynaphthalene or cellulose, make a coated around carbon black particle, which like break a volumetric wiring of nanocarbon black materials. However, with the polycarboxylate or the synergy between polycarboxylate and so uh, uh, that we found that like in polycarboxylate superplastizer, we don't find any significant in electrical conductivity. And there's a reason for that that the polycarboxylate superplastizer is a super hydrophobic material. However, nanocarbon black also is a super hydrophobic material. So there is no any interaction between carbon black or the polycarboxylate. So the dispersion from polycarboxylate comes from the dispersion of the cement particle, and when we have more distribution of the cement particle, the carbon black can like form the borecylation three salt in the cement matrix, especially also that the cement can also has a pH, it can lead to enhance the carbon black dispersion. So to understand the effect of the dispersion of nanocarbon black, in the fracture analysis, we use a micro scratch test technique. Uh, and here we estimate in the procuration of fracture toughness and the fracture energy using the elastic fracture model that developed by Olm and the co-worker. And here what we observe it here, that whatever in the dispersion level, we found uh, enhanced in the fracture toughness and the fracture energy, whatever any amount of the uh, surfactant or whatever any type of the surfactant. And this enhancement in the crack and in the, in the fracture toughness and the flag deflection leading to the, the carbon black, leading to filling maybe the micropore, which develops the crack deflection. To understand that, we make a, a SCM, we use, a, we employ a scan electron microscope in the scratch groove of the uh, scratch test. And what we found here, that like there is some tortuosity of or crack, uh, crack bath is a vis visible in the surface of the, uh, of the carbon black, which confirm that the enhancement of the fracture toughness and the fracture energy is related to the uh, crack deflection uh, from originated from the nanocarbon black addition. So to understand the effect of this uh, of surfactant and the distribution of nanocarbon black in the like ductility, we estimated the ductility through different technique, through indentation modulus, where we divided the indentation modulus over indentation hardness, which can represent a competition between plastic dissipation and elastic energy. And also we estimated through the fracture processing zone in the, uh, in the, gray, in the blue curve, and the fracture processing zone is present in the crack opening in the front of the crack tip. And what we observed here, that the addition of the addition of the chemical surfactant, whatever the type of chemical surfactant, lead to also enhance the ductility of the concrete. So this ductility improve is related to the increase of the uh, plastic dissipation capacity, and by that we can enhance the fracture processing zone becomes very smaller, and by that we enhance the ductility of the material. To go through the uh, relation between uh, macro mechanical investigation and the uh, like hardness that come from micro indentation technique, we estimated the 
friction coefficient, which is a relation between compressive strength and hardness, and the cohesion, which is a relation between compressive strength and the friction. And what we observe it here that the addition of nanocarbon black has a slight increase in the friction coefficient. However, like what we observe it here, that the, especially with the polynaphthalene superplastizer, that we found a slight, a, 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 like an, a, a very, in, a, a, a very uh, uh, in, uh, significant enhance in the cohesion of the concrete. This enhancement of the cohesion can be related to the enhance of the compressive strength. However, we don't have electrical conductivity. And by that, we can understand that the addition, that the, it depends, like if we need to obtain a highly compressive strength without electrical conductivity, we can disperse carbon over the mattress. However, if we need to have a good conductivity with a slight reduction in the strength, we can use a moderate amount of the polynaphthalene superplastizer. So uh, the key message is that polynaphthalene significantly increase the cohesion, which lead to the greater impact in the macromechanical characterization and also enhancing the uh, the, uh, the, uh, compared to the other surfactant. So to move to the nano indentation, so here we selected just only several mixture where like we can like have a blank cement without any carbon black, no surfactant when we have like carbon black without any surfactant, and then moving to the point three BNS where we have high electrical conductivity with average strength, and one BNS where we have high electrical conductivity, but without any strength, like we lose the strength, we break the volumetric wiring, and use like high amount, uh, like uh, uh, cellulose with a 0.25 where we achieve high electrical conductivity, while we also lose the, st uh, the, uh, uh, lose the strength, and with the PCE and the combined between BCE and CMS. And from this table, what is the key message that we have to observe it? Here we estimated the indentation modulus, indentation hardness, creep modulus, and the effect of the volume fraction of the phases. And what we observe it here that the carbon black without any surfactant, what we observe it here that we have four phases, not only three phases compared to the carbon black without, uh, uh, the, the mixture without any uh, surfactant or compared to the blank cement. So without Surfactant. So what we observe is developing a new phase of the, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe low density CSH, which is low characteristic of the indentation modulus and the hardness. And also what we observe it here in the vice versa, that the, like when we have over dispersion of carbon black, we enhance the macromechanical characteristic indentation modulus and the indentation hardness without any change in the volume fraction of the mattress compared to the reference one. So over dispersion can lead to like enhanced indentation modulus hardness, and the, the, we have this while we achieve without, while we don't have any change in the volume fraction. However, no surfactant, we have a new phase with the low strength indentation modulus and indentation hardness, and this like phase with new volume fraction compared to the reference one or the other uh, other mixtures. So now we have the answer why we have a reduction in the strength. When we have like no surfactant, this is due to the developing a new phase at nano scale, like imparting the strength of the material at macro scale while keeping electrical conductivity. And why we have enhanced and compressed strength at macro scale and lose conductivity because like we dis over distribution the carbon over the mattress, so we break a volumetric wiring. To confirm our like emphasize. We make, uh, we using a scan electron microscope and, is, uh, and the EGS analysis where we investigated the same mixtures that we used for the non-indentation technique. And what we observe it here, like in the first graph, like when we have non-dispersed non carbon, we see a big chunk of electron, of carbon black material, which also related to the electron conductive material, but losing strength. However, with highly dispersed carbon, we didn't see any chunk of, of carbon black material, which also lead to the breaking the volumetric wiring, enhancing a strength. So now the conclusion, if we have like we need as a, uh, enhanced of nanocarbon black via BNS and CMC, boost the electrical conductivity at such level. However, a big reduction can come in, uh, in electrical conductivity and the breaking is a volumetric wiring. However, strength, if we have over dispersed of carbon black, 
we can enhance the strength. However, we lose the conductivity. We can enhance all the fracture properties through adding nanocarbon black due to enhance the crack deflection, while the friction and the cohesion, like friction, no, like no sli slight increase in the friction, while enhance in the cohesion when we adding polynaphthalene superplastizer and it disperses carbon a lot. In the micromechanical, BNS dispersing like upflect the CCH gel without it changing the, uh, the, 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 vol uh, the, the, the volume uh, change of the phases. And also, we based on the STM and the morphology, we found that the dispersion can enhance the dispersion of nanocarbon black. Thank you. Yeah, next step, I'm sorry. So now, in the next step, we have to find a way where we can achieve a real multifunctional concrete, where we can have a good strength and a good conductivity to have a real meaning of the multifunctional concrete. And this can be happen through surface functionality of carbon black. And by that, we have like a good multifunctional concrete. Thank you so much.